Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, I wanna show you a new add-on that I've just put out. It's called Bulk Asset Tools, and uh, it's gonna let you work with assets in uh, across files, but without having to open each one of those individual files manually. So you'll be able to do things like uh, move them between asset catalogs, uh, change their names, their descriptions, their author, add and remove tags, um, all from one Blender file, no matter how many files your assets are spread across. So uh, let me jump into it real quick and show you how it works. So here I've got Blender 3.4.1, and uh, I'm just going to go to my Edit menu and Preferences. Under my Add-on tab, uh, I'll hit the Install button. Then I'll navigate to where I've saved the download file. Once I've gotten to the file, I'll double-click on it, and then enable it. Next, I'll change my 3D viewport here to an asset browser. So here I am in the current file. I haven't actually saved this file, so uh, th there's nothing in this file currently. I'll go ahead and change this to one of my asset libraries. I've gone ahead and moved a bunch of models out of their respective catalogs and put them back in unassigned so that I can show you how this works. These assets are all spread across a bunch of different files in a bunch of different directories and subdirectories under this asset library. I've got some objects, I've got some collections. This will also work with materials and node groups and worlds as well. So first, I'm going to show you the Move tool. In Vanilla Blender, if I were to try to grab any of these assets and move them to a catalog, I would get this. Only assets from this current file can be moved between catalogs. So that's not going to work. I'm going to go through and select all of the desks that are currently unassigned. All right, now that I've selected those, I'm going to go up to my Edit menu. And in Blender 3.5, this is actually changed to an Asset menu, but it'll work the same. And I'll use my Bulk Asset Mover. I'll be given a list of all the catalogs that are in the currently selected asset library and then I can pick which one I want to move it to. So this one's gonna to move to models slash furniture slash desks. And then I'll click OK. Now this will take a few moments depending on how many files this has to open and alter because this add-on's actually gonna open up each one of these files and make the alterations you've asked for. So I could continue parsing these out into their catalogs. And just like that, I've moved all of those into different catalogs. So let's look at our next option. Say I've got a bunch of assets here, and I want to set the author. I can select them all, go to Bulk Asset Change Author, and just type in a new author. And now all of these have had their author changed. I could change descriptions if I want. I can also add and remove tags. So say all of these were from Ikea. They now have the Ikea tag where these ones don't. But say I mess up and this one isn't from Ikea. I can simply go here, say bulk asset remove tag, type it in, and now that tag is removed. Finally, there's the bulk rename feature. Again, say I wanted to tack on the name IKEA to the beginning of all three of these. I could go to bulk rename, change the type to prefix, and do IKEA space. The rename feature also has a way to add suffixes and to do a complete rename. So if I wanted to change these all to just Calyx, I could do this and they would be Calyx 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if you've created an entire library of assets but haven't really gone through and organized them yet, this tool's the one for you. 
especially for doing things like going through and assigning the author for all of your assets. So I could come here, choose all of these assets, and change the author if I wanted. Now, keep in mind that doing an operation like this will take a couple of minutes because again, it will have to open up each one of these files separately. So Bulk Asset Tools is available on my Gumroad right now for free. You can go and download it. I do have it set up, so if you want to kick in a couple of dollars to help support development, you can do that, but don't feel you have to. Another way you can support this development is by joining my Patreon. I'll put the link to that in the description as well. For just a couple of bucks a month, you can help support the kind of content I've been putting out. These scripts and uh, models and assets um, and videos that I've been putting out. Um, I've already got a, a cool community that's uh, growing over there, and I'd love to have you be a part of it. So go grab bulk asset tools from my Gumroad, and while you're there, check out some of the other stuff I've got available. Many of the assets that you've seen pass by on the screen here are actually available on my Gumroad as well for free. So anyway, I hope this inspires you to make something awesome, or at least clean up your asset libraries. So until next time, I'll catch you later.